Well, today we've got the Murphy DS602 mobile. I was having a chat to my good friend nine miles up the road, Moa Man, and he said, Yeah, I'm done the Murphy. But he was actually talking about the Murphy base station, which I don't know whether you know, he's really a Spirit 40F in a big box. So here's the Murphy DS602. And every time I buy a second hand radio, the meter lamp's out. This is, came in with a batch of stuff I bought off eBay. So we'll see whether we can service it. And if I remember rightly, these radios, which were custom made for the mail order company Great Universal Stores in the UK by JJ Silver in um, Korea, I think are the, is the York 867, which I've got the details of. So I'll open it up, and I'll change the meter lamp, and we'll take it from there. Right folks, that's changed the meter bulb, that's now lit up. Now I use these uh, tiny little, what they call grain of wheat lamps, which are the correct ones. They're horrendously expensive, I think they're something stupid like 89 pence each from our wholesalers in hundreds. So it's quite an investment every time I have to buy some more of those. The lamp which was in... Somebody has put this in, if we just zoom into that, which is a flanged lamp. So there you go. So we'll get rid of that. If you wonder why, if I've got a background noise, I've, I've got the uh, workshop air conditioning on. It may only be the 18th of May, but uh, we live in quite a warm part of the country here in the UK mainly a rural area, they managed to get about three crops a year out of each field, it's such good land and weather. So that's what the rumble is in the background. Now this radio does basically seem to work, so that's a good, isn't it? So it makes a change, and I am getting transmit, and it is doing 2.9 watts. So we'll start with the transmitter, we don't have the VCO details and if I ever had one of these in which needed VCO work I would have to work something out. Clearly uh, these are going to be the VCO, these sealed coils are there. The icon's just gone to economy mode. Right, so the first um, transmit adjustment is this one here just under the just under the wiring there. And the second one is there. This looks actually in very good condition. Just changed my mode. Now we've gone over three watts. over to the fourth one this test set has a 0 to 3 watt range and then it has the 3 to 30 watt range I mean really this is made for doing 25 watt commercial two-way radios and so the trouble is, if I have it in the 3 watt range, it's at the end of the scale soon, because this was doing 2.8 watts. If I have it in the 30 watt range, it's right at the other end of the scale, so it's it can be a bit of a pain. Anyway, I will just... Um, the next one is that. And that's sealed, so we'll just unseal it. And it doesn't look like it's been messed with at all, this one.
brought it up to three and a half watts. From what I remember of these sets, the only thing which really lets them down is the squelch. On the air, they sound great. Just a shade away now from the four watts. Because they're interactive with each other, the adjustments, you usually have to go backwards and forwards a little bit. Just needs a bit more heat on that one. We're just such a smidging away from 4 watts. I'm sure if this was digital it would say 3.98. Yeah, definitely 4 now, so I'll just make sure they're optimised. There we go, 4 watts. Right. So while it's in the 4 watt mode, we'll just check that the meter reads 4 watts. The transmit meter adjustment is the preset just there. So we're just going to transmit and it's in the middle of the red zone. just in the wrong preset and I've shown you which one it is. I will just clean that. You never know whether these, when radios are this age, you just never know whether they've been in a smoking environment. And it really plays havoc with anything electronic. There we go. That's spot on. Now we'll just check if low power is doing 0.4 per watt like it should do. So I've switched it to low power. Just do about 0.5. So we may be able to turn that right down. It does have a preset for that. The preset for low power is that one there. Just zoom in. We're on that one. Just pop that down to 0.4. Now that was the one we were adjusting for transmit meter. The one towards the right of the chassis. This is the one for low power. Next we're going to go for deviation. And the deviation is the one in the middle there. So, we'll just um, set the little oscillator out going, which we've got. So it's exactly two and a half. So give it the whistle test. We actually have some self oscillation from somewhere. We'll have to see why that is in a moment. Right, well, I'll look into that and I'll get back to you with the video. just sat near the extension speaker socket that's all that was up so that's now adjusted the um, deviation listening to the monitor receiver here testing one two three four five five four three two one that's absolutely fine and finally for the transmit section we'll just check that it's on frequency it should be 27 decimal seven nine one two five and it's showing it's 27 at 79 at 126. That's absolutely spot on. It's incredible considering the age. Now, if we needed to adjust that, it's the trimmer capacitor TC 
is just there next to the crystal which is next to the synthesizer IC so it's as simple as that so we haven't had to adjust that and that concludes transmit on the Murphy DS602